so now I'm going to show you how to make creamy curried pumpkin soup. This actually is my recipe for creamy curried kabocha squash soup. But since I did all my shopping at Walmart and one of the few things they didn't have was kabocha squash, I thought I would try substituting a pumpkin. Now, I've never tried this type of pumpkin. It's called candy corn pumpkin. So I don't know if it's called that because the colors makes it look like the candy candy corn that you often see at Halloween, or maybe it's sweeter, but we'll give it a try. I thought that this would fit in my little basket that I use when I want to steam squashes or potatoes. It doesn't fit, unfortunately, but that's okay because it will fit in my eight quart instant pot easily. I find that if I start with hot or boiling water, it takes less time to come up to pressure, but it will still work if you don't. We don't really need that much for this. Just want to have some water in it. I put in two cups. Always remember when you're sealing your pressure cooker, if you think of the front as a clock being number 12, if you place it at 11, it always fits. You want to have the little valve away from you. That's sealing. And now I'm going to push the one button that I know, which is pressure cook. And then I'm going to put it on... 12 minutes. I usually do 10, but I want to make sure, since I've never worked this kind of pumpkin before, that it's nice and soft. And then what's going to happen is this guy is going to beep in just a second. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm not sure what that means other than maybe it's saying to me, is this what you want? Yeah, it's what I want. So it's going to take a little bit of time to come up to pressure. Then it's going to have to cook for 12 minutes. And then I'm just going to unplug it when it beeps 10 times to tell me it's ready. And I'm going to let it come down to pressure naturally. or Maybe I'll release it depending on how I feel. And then we will finish the soup. So the longest part of this recipe is cooking your squash, which is why so many times when I make squash soups, I just buy the pre-cut sweet potatoes or butternut squash, either in the refrigerated or the freezer section. Now, I've never cooked a pumpkin before, to be honest. And so these were a lot harder than the kabocha squash. So after 12 minutes, it was not soft enough for me to pierce my fingernail in. So I just pushed the button again and cooked in another 12 minutes. You got to let it cool unless you want to burn yourself. So now that it's cool, I can easily cut into it. And then I have, what's kind of cool is, is this is just like popping out. With the kabocha squash, you can actually eat the skin, but I wouldn't eat this. This is quite hard, but what it's doing is it's making it really easy for me <laughs> to get the seeds out. I'm just going to finish taking the shell off or the skin, whatever you want to call it. Then now, Oops. I can save these seeds if I like and make pumpkin seeds. But really all I need right now is the flesh. And because it's already been cooked, it's not going to take more than about five minutes in the Instant Pot for it to come together. This is about the same color as your butternut squash. It might be a little bit darker. The kabocha squash is much more of a bright orange and it has a different flavor. Just want to get these seeds out. And there are, there are a lot of them. So save them if you like. If one seed or so made it in the soup, probably be okay because you are going to blend this soup, which is why I don't need to cut anything up, including my onion. There we go. So I've got all of my pumpkin and I'm just going to take the lid off my pressure cooker. I have preheated my water so that it will cook faster. You can also use vegetable broth, no sodium or low sodium. I'm just gonna carefully put the pumpkin in there so that the hot water doesn't splatter on me. 
And then I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients, which is a whole sweet onion. I didn't cut it up. I just peeled it and took the skin off. My ginger and garlic, which I keep in the freezer because I use them not that frequently, especially the ginger. So I buy the little cubes that are frozen. And then I buy the garlic already peeled and also freeze that. I have it whenever I need it. And then my seasonings. Now this says kabocha soup because I'm using the exact same seasonings as I use in the creamy curried kabocha squash soup. I always smell it to make sure it's correct. So one thing about curry powder you need to know is that curry powder is a blend. And so just like chili powder, apple pie spice, pumpkin pie spice, the thing is, is if you don't like the individual ingredients, you may not like the blend. Sometimes they have things like fenugreek. Sometimes chili powders have black pepper, to which I'm allergic. So just make sure you read the ingredients. Make sure you like the seasonings in it. Or just Google how to make curry powder, and you can make your own. So I'm going to put the top on my pressure cooker. Always think of the clock, and then put it at 11 o'clock. And then I'm just going to press the pressure cook button and cook it for five minutes. So it's five minutes from when it comes up to pressure. It's not five minutes from this moment in time. Just keep that in mind with pressure cooking. And when it's done, I'm gonna release the pressure or I could let it come down to pressure naturally depending on if you're in a hurry or not. And then I'm gonna stir in some non-dairy milk and I'm gonna blend it right in the insert to the pressure cooker with an immersion blender and we'll have our delicious soup. So after your pressure cooker beeps, totally up to you whether you want to unplug it or let it come down to pressure naturally. But if you want to eat it right away, you will have to release the pressure. You can use one of these cool little diverters so that the steam goes to either side. You can actually make your own uh, out of a piece of PVC pipe from Home Depot buy these on Amazon. You could put a towel over, but that towel is going to get pretty wet. The reason it released so quickly is because a few minutes have elapsed. The more full the unit is, the longer it'll take the pressure to release. But it's very safe because you won't be able to get the top off unless the pressure is released. And you can put it on the side just like this. There's two sides. Or if you're putting it on the counter, just be mindful not to put it on a hot stove. People have burned those. So now we're going to add our non-dairy milk. I am using unsweetened low-fat coconut milk just for a change. Usually I just use almond milk, but I thought it might be fun since I've never used pumpkin before. Maybe try coconut milk. That's what we use when I teach hands-on cooking at Rancho La Puerta in general because it is thicker, richer, and creamier. You don't want to cook with the non-dairy milk though. Then we take this immersion or stick blender it has this recessed blade right there, which means you have it on the bottom and it still will pick up everything. And if you want to move it around and lift it up, just make sure that it's not on when you do that. So you just kind of press down on the onion and all the different parts and we're just going to blend. You could blend it in a blender, preferably a high power blender. But the problem is, is that when you close the top, the heat will expand and it's just a little safer to do it this way, if you ask me. So blend it until it's smooth and creamy. I love back cooking soups, stews and chili in my electric pressure cooker, eating some, freezing some, giving some to friends. And then we'll just plate it up. It's nice and creamy. Two scoops is the right amount for me. This can be a wonderful first course or for a hearty full meal. You can place it over a whole grain like millet or brown rice. You can garnish it with a few chopped chives if you like. And there you have it. Creamy curried pumpkin soup. You know, since I never made it with pumpkin, I figured I should try it. It's a little bit different color, same spices. That has really a nice flavor and you can really taste the spices like the curry and the ginger and the turmeric. I think it's gonna become a fall favorite.